has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hello guys, my name is iMac117 and today we, I, well, I've just woken up to some sad news and I'm sure many of you have as well and that is that the voice of Batman, Kevin Conroy, has died at age 66 and I just, I haven't done many videos like this, I, I, I think the last one I did was with Carrie Fisher, I didn't do one for Chadwick Boseman or other actors but you know, I felt like I, I felt like saying something about this this actor, you know, this voice actor, because he just he, he made my childhood. You know, this was he was Batman. You know, he was, you know, I remember watching the animated series. You know, when it was on Cartoon Network here and there, and the Justice League series. You know, I, I rewatched actually the Justice League TV show recently and the Unlimited show, and you know, and but for me, like what you know the main thing that I loved was the Arkham games, it was Arkham, you know, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, City, man, City's my favorite, one of my favorite video games, Arkham Knight, you know, the Injustice games, and he's been in so many other things, you know, he was in Batman Beyond, and Batman Killing Joke, and just so many things, you know, he was the definitive voice of Batman, you know, and just so much of what he's done with this character is carried over into other versions of this character, you know, with, with Ben Affleck's and Robert Pattinson's and Christian Bale's, you know, just so much of what he did with this character, and he just knew this character so well, you know, there was, you, you watch videos of him, and he's like, oh, I don't think you would say this, I think you would say it more like this, you know, and he was just so good at knowing this character. And I think another great thing about him was just he was so great with his fans. He loved his fans, you know, and he was just always, you know, just there for them, I guess, and supported them and, you know, was, and well, and they supported him as well, you know. And he just, you know, I, he wasn't he wasn't a bad person, you know. I feel like most celebrities these days, you find out that, oh, they were actually not that good of a person, but I don't, I don't who knows, there'll be some fucking woke prick come out afterwards, but I'm sure there won't be, um, yeah, what else, uh, yeah, Batman, sold an arc, I'm just looking at all the stuff he did, man, sold an arc, a mask on the phantasm, Batman, uh, Batman and Harley Quinn, Batman, Superman, um, public enemies, I haven't watched that one, I, I do want to watch that one, actually, I watched Apocalypse, that one was pretty good, oh, Justice League Doom, Mystery of the Batwoman, Sub Zero, Flashpoint. He wasn't in Flashpoint very long, but it was still like you know. It's, um, <laughs> that's right. He was in Batman vs. Robin, but it was um, it's uh, he plays the dad. He plays the Bruce Wayne's dad in that. I remember that. Oh, yeah, man. Just yeah, really, just some sad stuff, man. Uh, Mm. I wonder if he, like, I know I shouldn't be saying this, but or wondering, but I wonder, because Injustice 3, I guess, is kind of in development. I wonder if he got to f do the lines or not. I wonder. Because he didn't do Gotham Knights. That was, um, I think it was Troy Baker. I think because it sounded the same as the one from Telltale. So, yeah. But. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, man, but I'm just, it's just, it's such a great, it's such a great loss, you know, it really is, you know, because he, he just, he, he was just, to me, he's, he's the definitive Batman, you know, he's, he's the, he is the most accurate Batman we've ever had, you know, the Arkham games and the animated series to me are like, that is Batman. You know, as much as I love Ben Affleck's and Robert Pattinson's and everything like that, they, I think Robert Pattinson's probably the closest in live action wise. But I love Ben Affleck's as well. But then again, his is more the Dark Knight Returns type thing. But I think, like, if people, like, I know people will always go to the live action ones, but in all honesty, like, the best Batman is Kevin Conroy's animated series in Arkham Games. They, to me, are the best. Nothing can beat that, you know. 
but yeah, man. I mean, I think that's it for now uh, for for today. But yeah, I don't, I don't. I, it's it's just sad, man. Uh, it really is. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, just have a good fucking day. That's all I can ask. Have a good day. Have a good life. Ciao.